Howdy guys, this is Shane. I thought I'd put together a really quick video just letting you know my experience upgrading to Mac OS Mojave using Final Cut Pro 10. Now before I did anything, and I recommend this to you as well, use Time Machine to back up your computer before you do any of these major upgrades so you can always roll it back. Now if you remember the last major software upgrade to the last operating system version, Final Cut 10 was a mess up until they, they gave you a patch or some software update to get rid of those glitches. Not everyone might have experienced that, but I did. So I, it took me a few months to want to upgrade. And once I saw the Final Cut had an update, I went for it. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give this a shot this time. Maybe they got it right because of all the problems last time. Maybe they actually tested some of their software before releasing the operating system. So, and then it seems like they have. I haven't had any problems with this at all. Now I'm on actually my third project since the upgrade. It's just transcoding some stuff right now, but it seems to be working fine. I haven't had a crash. Now there was only one issue when I upgraded and I'll explain a little bit about it. I've got this M installer, so I actually have an account where I pay for plugins and all that kind of stuff. Now there was one called M Flare, which I uninstalled and reinstalled and it worked fine. Up until that point though, when I started my computer, it would come up with a little error saying this program needs attention or something like that. But basically just reinstall that if you do have M Flare which is part of the Motion VFX software, and you should be good to go. Other than that, it's worked fine. I haven't noticed any difference in performance except for right at the start. Now, being that this is a Fusion Drive in this late 2015 iMac, I did notice the first time I loaded Final Cut, it must have had to have moved all of the frequently used stuff to the, to the solid state part of that drive. So when I like scroll over some of my transitions, it took a while before they appeared, but once they once I opened the program a couple of times, it was back to normal. So I think that's just maybe part of the upgrade where it doesn't know exactly what to put on the Fusion Drive. I could be wrong about that, but I did notice that it wasn't as responsive as it was initially right after the upgrade as it was beforehand. But then after opening it two or three times and using it, it's been great. So uh, yeah, I think everything's back to how I like to run it, or at least all the most frequently used things are back on the Fusion Drive. So overall, so far so good. Seems to work with all my plugins fine. No random crashes, no weird glitches or anything on screen. So I could just recommend uh, upgrade if you want to, or don't do it if you don't want to. But before you make any decisions, back up your software before you do it. That's all I can say. Get the time machine done, back up your entire system. If something goes wrong, it's easy to roll back. Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. I'll catch you soon. See ya.